Hey guys, Mr. E here. Welcome to a reaction video. Uh, this is like a, a new thing with my camera. I'm, I'm trying it out right now, so uh, I apologize if it ends up all weird. Anyway, today we're going to be reacting to the uh, to the uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct that came out yesterday. I could have live-streamed my reaction to it, but I had to like leave around that time to go shopping for school clothes. And... Our internet was down for like the whole day, so I postponed it to today. Hopefully this will go out fine. I don't know anything about the Smash Brothers Direct, so yeah, this is going to be awesome. Let's, uh... <sighs> you do not believe all the struggles I'm having right now. When it comes to, uh, this video. Oh, boy. Ah, here it is. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, is this a new character? Oh. Manage. Oh, it's a trailer! What could this be? It's Luigi! What's he doing? Oh, what's with the mummies? <laughs> oh man, this is so funny. Oh, what, what, what in the world is happening? <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Oh, I like the new poltergeist. Is that like... Oh jeez, what is that? Oh my... Castlevania games myself, but I played uh, Castlevania 4 on my uh, SNES Classic, but <laughs> oh man, this is a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> Castlevania character? A little bit of an explanation would do, finally. I know they're both from Castlevania, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm well aware that's Castlevania. That's not at all horrifying. What the heck is that? Hello. 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 I'm Hiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. This is a follow-up to our recent announcement about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Without further ado, the legendary vampire hunter from the Castlevania series, Simon Belmont, is finally joining the roster. I'm doing this down well. He's been given a bit of a makeover. Where's the remote? Here it is. His signature item is, of course, his holy whip, the far-flinging vampire killer. It leaves you open to attack, and it's a bit slow, but I think its average reach during normal attacks is longer than any other fighters. He can- What? What just happened?
Okay, guys, I'll have to wait a little. I'll be right back, guys. So about that, guys. It's like the internet goes good for like five minutes and it already goes back to crap. Okay, let's get to where we left off. This seems like a good spot. Powerful. And his final smash is called Grand Cross. Dracula's Castle and the stage. stage is none other than Dracula's Castle. It's the darkest of stages in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Hmm. When an attack hits one of the candlesticks, an item will appear. Oh, typical in this game, swing. bosses what? from across the Castlevania series will rear their ugly heads. They make Dracula's castle feel true to the world from whence they came. Oh boy! Anyways. You can turn off all these hazards, right? Yeah. When speaking of Castlevania, you can't forget to mention the music. For this stage, we will incorporate 34 music tracks, including new and classic tunes. The oh, jeez! This is going to be the biggest music, Smash soundtrack ever. On these arrangements. Once in a blue moon, Simon's immortal rival will appear. Dracula. Reborn every 100 years, he is eternally fated to wage war against descendants of the Balmain clan. Under what conditions will he appear? Time will tell. Now, for a brand new assist trophy. A Luke? Alucard, son of Dracula, will then Alucard. steal in battle. Oh! He wields the chrysogram, transforms into a bat, and dodges attacks by assuming mist form. He's very similar to his starring role in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Like other Sisters, he's susceptible to attack and KO as well. Nevertheless, Just like Waluigi. <laughs> and we have one more fighter for you. The vampire hunter who starred in classics like Castlevania Rondo of Blood, Richter Belmont, joins the battle. Ooh, he's an echo fighter, isn't Richter he? Richter is an echo fighter based on Simon. Oh! Though his strength is the same, his look, voice, and animations all set him apart. Besides, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate version of Simon can perform moves derived from Richter in his original games, so it's hard to say who's really echoing who. I hope you'll enjoy them both. I don't really care. <laughs> Farewell. I'd like to introduce two more Echo Fighters from a completely different series while we're on the topic. Please take a look. Who's it gonna be? Fire. Oh my gosh, it's Krom! <laughs> oh man! You happy now, Fire Emblem fans? <laughs> I don't really have Awakening myself, but it's pretty cool to have him. Wait, if he's not there, who's gonna be in Robin's Final Smash? That's cool! Oh! Dark Samus! <laughs> it's nice to have, but it's nice to have some more Metroid support in this game. New Metroid characters are always cool. <laughs> <laughs> A 
of course he's got a version of the Zero Laser. Kron and Dark Samus join the battle. You may have seen this coming. Both fighters have been highly requested. They're each slightly different than the fighters they're based on, so pick whoever you enjoy most. As you can see, depending on your settings, you can either display all Echo Fighters separately on the Fighter Select screen or stack them with the fighters they're based on. Oh, that's when cool! Stacked, you can switch between them with the press of a button. This time, we plan to reveal the design of every fighter before the game launches. We'll have a few more to announce later, so stay tuned. Oh boy. Ooh, new stages. Let's see what we're stages. Oh, Great Bay. Bay. Chat Moses. Does that mean the Codex are back too? There's the living to room. Scott Flynn. Biggie Raid Circuit. Flat Zone X. Was that Pokemon Stadium? The first one? That's cool. Ooh, Garden of Hope. That's a good one. Oh, the Brinstar Depths from... Is that like the first... Oh, it's from Melee. I mean, I don't know. I haven't played Melee. We do have Melee, but... Oh, of course Summit's there. Yeah, I, I haven't played Melee that much. We do have it, but we don't have, like, the memory card for it, so we can't, like, keep everything we get. Ah, uh, the Unova Pokemon League. That's a good one. Oh, Magikant. That one's one of my favorites on the 3DS version, even though I haven't played it for, you know, who knows how long. Mostly because it broke. Ooh, Gamer. I'm a big fan of Game & Wario, it's pretty good. So that's what the final destination looks like. Oh, New Dog City Hall, that's cool! <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Mario Odyssey. <laughs> it's my most played Switch game. <laughs> I love this song. Holy Brookbank Fountain of Dreams! <laughs> that said, for stages that oh, there's Saffron City! We prioritize nostalgia, intentionally keeping the classic look. The stage total is turning out to be pretty impressive. Let's compare it to the totals in previous games. Now the total number of stages is... Voila! 103! <laughs> what?! If we That's a lot! Field, final destination in Big Battlefield, we'd have exactly 100. But take a look at the stage select screen. Every stage can also be transformed into oh, Battlefield that... and Omega. Oh my field. gosh, this is awesome! The total number awesome. of stages is actually more than 300. All of these stages can be played in 8 player battles. All of them?! They are all available from the beginning. All of them are available from the beginning. No one. Additionally, you have the option to turn off stage hazards. Well, no more. Change of pace and don't want to be interrupted. No more yellow devil. Hallelujah. <laughs> also, the order of the stages matches the order in which they were introduced in the series, just like the fighters. That's cool. Nice touch. Regarding stages, we have a little surprise. Please take a look. Ooh, surprise. Oh, it's Brit Star! <laughs> I love it. this one. This is good. What? A stage shuffler? The stage can transform around you. <laughs> that is legit. That's that is awesome. The stage more option. <laughs> then you can pick two stages on the stage select menu. That is awesome. Then you choose any stages you like and have fun. Oh, they brought back Mute City! They bring back my music! Wants it all. 
My music lets you I, lo I love doing this. Stage, and I like this feature is making a return. If there's anything I enjoy about like video Until games now, about Smash, Smash Brothers, it's the music. music it is. But this time, <gasps> they wrote that back. <laughs> the Mulgara music. That is example, sick. I love that song. Stage, based on the <laughs> Even though I don't really have Wind Waker. Pick any of the tracks included from that series. Now for the total number of music tracks from stages. This is also ultimate. Oh. Oh wow, more than 800 oh, tracks. No. And if you count oh, other types of music, like menus and fanfare, then there's actually about 900 compositions. <laughs> if you played them if all in go. a row, without looping or stopping, there's more than 28 hours worth of music. Awesome! These game franchises are a big part of video game <gasps> history, and the result is a massive library of memorable music. All of this packed into one game. <laughs> this, this is so in awesome! This is extraordinary. Of course, there's a sound. This has to be well. game of the year. <laughs> For your browsing pleasure, we sorted all of the tracks by game series. Oh, that's cool. It's like having an album for each series. If there was the like a CD no for this, I would definitely buy this. No doubt. Title rather than a series, it can be found in the other section. Oh, I love you can this. create your own playlist too. Sort Ooh, them in play any order you like, anytime, as much as you want. Friday, eight bit treasures. How about one when I'm feeling depressed? Oh, what's what's what the heck is this? In handheld mode, you can play music while the screen is turned off. That is kind of like using your that's, Nintendo Switch as a music player. That's pretty cool. A huge variety of music has been collected for the game, and you can sample some of these tracks on the official website. Yeah, I've been doing that. I like that. It's to pretty add cool. Collections basically every week, so please stay tuned. Some of you may have experienced the game already, but I'd still like to show you some things about the multiplayer battle. Yeah, I can't afford to go to Los Angeles for E3. If I could go to E3, now that would be awesome. Is the rules. If you create your own rule set, you can immediately begin playing with those rules at any time. Ooh, stamina battle. In addition to time battle and stock battle, stamina battle is now treated as one of the standard Smash modes. There's a different feeling of intensity in these battles. This time, stage selection comes before fighter selection. That's cool. This way, you can pick a fighter based on how well suited they are for the stage. Or let the last battle's loser pick the next stage to even the odds. In Sudden Death, you not only start with 300% damage, but the camera will steadily zoom in. This oh, that's, a nice sense of that's handy. Where are all the bombs? <laughs> Chargeable final smashes are now a selectable option. Chargeable final smashes? During a match, your final smash. This reminds me of something. I know this is like it's I know this there's like something like this, but I'm not entirely sure what. When you apply this, is it like the uh it was like a PlayStation All-Stars? Maybe? I don't know. By the way, no two final smashes will happen simultaneously. Yeah, of course, that would be insane. There are other additions to the battle modes, too. Ooh, squat. We've added in Squad Strike. It's a 5 on 5 or 3 on 3 elimination style battle to decide the winner. Each player will use five consecutive fights. Oh, they pulled this from Smash Tour! This is probably time. the only part about Smash Tour that I actually like. We're also including tourney mode. Please, the if they add a single player. <laughs> and the game will automatically structure a tournament bracket. Up to 32 players can join the tournament, so it's great for parties, too. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome! If they. What's, what's that? We're adding a special Smash mode called Smashdown. After a battle in this mode, the previously selected fighters will no longer be available to use in the next battle, so each player must select a different fighter. It definitely pays off That's legit. multiple fighters. 
You could also strategically pick a fighter your opponent is good with before they can. Oh, of course they have the training. The new training mode will feature an exclusive stage. Huh. We've displayed a grid so it's easy to measure distance and more. You can also display launch distance. Bet? <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be happy or damage. still the confused. For 100% damage. The fighter's weight is factored in at the moment of impact. Oh, classic mode, what's this? A single player mode in which players battle against a series of fighters will return in the form of classic mode. Each fighter has a set series of stages and opponents they will face. That's... something. Now, let me introduce you to some new items, Pokemon, and assist trophies. Oh boy. What's this, the banana? What's the banana for? <laughs> this is funny. Was that the Tom Is that the Tomodachi live stage? I haven't played that in a while. Oh look, a banana. Ooh, this song this is a good song. Ooh, killing edge, what's this? That's a nice looking sword. Oh yeah, I've seen this on the website. Oh, that's from, uh, Kid Icarus, isn't it? Oh, that's an item. I think, I, I think I've seen that before, somewhere. What the heck is that? Huh. Ooh, Pokeballs! Let's see what it is. Cool. Oh, Sogaleo, of course. Oh, and there's Lunala. Is Mimikyu in a, a Pokeball? I'm curious. Oh! <laughs> I must be psychic or something. Oh man, he's OP. Oh. Kyumuku? I, I don't know how to pronounce that one. <laughs> Both Vulpixes are in this? Ooh, Marshadow! Ditto! Isn't that thing in Melee? Zeros? Oh, zero's an assist trophy! Huh! That's cool! Who else we had? Ooh, Knuckles! There it goes. Well, there goes Crystal's chances of being in Smash Brothers. The Claptrap? Happens in a sis trophy too? <laughs> That's a funny one. Chef Kawasaki? <laughs> That's it's awesome. <laughs> hey, Gray Fox is back. Oh, it's Nikki! I haven't played Swap Node in like who knows how long. Shovel Knight! There goes his chances of being in Smash. Dang it. The moon? Oh crap. All of them Ashley? Yeah, Bomberman? Powerful one has just arrived. Who who is it? What who's that? What is that? Yo, is that from Monster Hunter? Rathalos 
swoops in. <laughs> I'm not really a. I'm not really a, a Monster Hunter fan him myself, but I played a lot. I played a Monster Hunter World a couple times on the PS4, and it's actually pretty good. Even though I haven't really gotten that far, I got lost. Before we go, oh crap. Before we go, I'd like us to take a quick look at the main menu. Oh, that looks cool. What's that? As you can see, there's a mysterious What's... mode here. But What's we that? can't talk about that just yet. Also, there's a story mode on the right side of the screen. This can be accessed at any time by pressing the ZR button. Options and control descriptions are listed here as well. That's all for today. Is that the story mode? The entire development team is putting all of their energy into finishing the game, so please be patient. Why is it shaking? Thank you so much for watching. What? What? What's that? That's actually in. <laughs> oh, rip. <laughs> There's Simon, the, his Echo, Krom, Dark Samus, and... Nice! The only thing that would make this better is if Waluigi was in this game. That was awesome! Thanks for watching, everybody! Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.